In this tutorial, we will create this cake ordering application using Python. Show cake menu, order a cake, and exit. Now let's show like this. As you see, we have a list of available cakes like this. Now let's order a cake like this. Let's enter a cake not inside this list. Let's say, for example, good cake like this. As you see, we are getting that cake is not available. Now let's order again. I will choose a cake inside this menu. Let's say, for example, vanilla cake. So I will simply say vanilla cake like this. Enter the quantity. Let's say, for example, four. We are getting your order for vanilla cake. Four total of, and this is the total. Baking your cake, decorating your cake, and your cake is ready. Enjoy your delicious cake. Now let's exit like this. Now let's create this project using Python. So let's start by importing the time module like this and we will create this dictionary. It will contain the name of the cake as the key and the price of the cake as the value. Then we will create this function display menu. It will print available cakes. Then we will say the following. We will say for cake and price in cake menu, which is our dictionary dot items. And we are saying dot items because we are looping over keys and values. We will print the cake name and the price and this price will be formatted to two decimal places. Now let's create a function so we can order a cake. So we will create this function order cake. It will take the user input saying enter the cake name and we will say dot lower, meaning that it will not matter if the input is uppercase or lowercase and we will check. If choice in cake menu, which is our dictionary, we will take a user input saying enter the quantity and we will format this input to be an int instead of a string. Then we will get the total price. So we will get the price of the cake from the dictionary and multiply by the quantity entered by the user. Then we will print you ordered followed by the quantity followed by the choice for a total of and we will print the total price like this. Then we will call this function simulate baking else meaning that if this choice is not inside this dictionary we will print sorry that cake is not available. Now let's create a function for simulate baking like this. So we will create this function simulate baking and we will print baking your cake. Then we will say time.sleep4 meaning that we will pause for 4 seconds. Then we will print decorating your cake. Pause again for 2 seconds. Then print your cake is ready. Enjoy your delicious cake. Now let's create the main function like this. So we will simply say the following. We will create this function main and we will create an infinite loop and print show cake menu, order a cake and exit. Then we will take a user input saying enter the choice and we will check. If the choice of the user is equal 1, we will call the display menu. 2, we will call order cake. 3, we will print thank you for visiting, have a sweet day and we will break. Meaning that we will terminate this infinite while loop. Else, we will print invalid choice. Please enter a number between 1 and 3 like this. Now let's call our main function. So we will simply say if name is equal main, meaning that if we are running this file as the main file, not as an imported module, we will call this function, which is the main function. Let's run and see the result. Now let's show the menu like this. I will choose, for example, order a cake like this. Then I will enter a name. Let's say, for example, cheese cake like this. I will enter the quantity. Let's say, for example, six. And this is the total baking your cake decorating your cake and we are getting your cake is ready enjoy your delicious cake let's exit